Most people in America are looking for that life partner who is perfect for them. The Lord God above keeps insisting that the one I love that's right for me will come for me. And openly, I'm glad to hear it, but I'm fucking pissed off. Because maybe she tried a few times, but she didn't try hard enough. And openly, the person that's right for me is someone that I've already known. Not someone I'm going to meet, allegedly. And when you get that consistent message from the Lord about something, it's pretty consistent. Like when the police officers in Noblesville stole my property bags with the help of a little girl. I had to reach out to do something, not at all. Openly, God said, don't worry, you'll get it all back. And I did. You see, sometimes police officers do that to check someone over, but sometimes they do that to be able to find out who's stealing and thieving from someone. When I slept at a defunct bank during the summer one time, a dragon pendulum that I made for myself went missing. Someone is always thieving, someone is always stealing, and it's often a police officer. A police officer in Fishers, Indiana, stole one of my faith bobs that was a strong chain and a Holy Ghost emblem on it, which is the Holy Cross, if you will, of Catholicism, but it's also the Celtic Cross for most guys like me who are pagan. The rage in me is off charts on certain issues today, and that's why I may be the dragon priest today. But openly, don't only a few people have actually driven around a corner recently in the last, gosh, two months yelling dragon priest at me. And while I appreciate that, who gave him that name of me? I didn't know that person in the car. But somebody's passing around like it's a candy bar. In life, as in our world, we have the right to our monikers, we have the right to our nicknames, and we have the right to things that we have designed with God's help to claim. And what I know about God is that He is a jealous God, He is a vengeful God, and He will take out the people who have been lying about me, including the police department. And openly, it may not happen right in front of me, which is the hardest part about being me, but I guarantee it's happening every day. That the Lord God above has opened the hearts and minds of people pretty high up for me, but at the same time, they haven't done right by me. And we still have COVID today. Now, I'm not implying that I am somehow related to that, but I do know the prophecies of God. And I do know the Word and the Book of the Lord. But what I see almost every day are people who claim to be Christian walking by me. So basically, we've got once again that road to Samaria. And the road to Samaria was an, a sermon I did a while ago that was short and sweet that says, who's on your road? And basically, where are you headed in life? And are you actually going to get where you want to go or are you just giving yourself illusions of what is pretty, what is handsome, and what is good for you? And if I learn that my beautiful woman that God promised me has monkeyed her face, how am I going to feel? I'm going to feel angry that she thought she, not that she had the right to do it, because she does, but that someone in her life made her feel like she had to do it or enabled her or allowed her to do it because she's a beauty. And openly, that's what I'm after. I'm after the one that's beautiful in her soul. And beautiful souls are what people in God's house are looking for. A beautiful soul is always a light on the world. A beautiful soul might have a different situation going on for them, but they always try to shine their light on everyone. 